Hey guys, George from Soundtracks here. In this month's newsletter, we've got a lot of information coming to you. First up, we're going to talk about the exciting new addition of the EMD-2s and the Steam 2s into our Tsunami 2 product line. We're also going to help dispel that myth that the Ekonami product line has been discontinued. For our tech tip, we're going to talk about the auto start. Whenever we put a diesel locomotive on the track or the track layout is powered up, the locomotive automatically starts. So we're going to talk about options for that. Now since the NMRA announcement, we've had a lot of excitement about our EMD-2 and the Steam-2 decoders that we've added into the Tsunami 2 product line. Now with this, this gives us two separate EMD decoders. First is our EMD, and that has nine individual prime movers ranging from EMD 567s all the way up to 710s. Then we have our EMD-2, and that is another collection of eight different EMD prime movers, again, ranging from 567s all the way up to the 710. Now some of the most notable ones on that are our 20-cylinder EMD 645 turbo, and the 12-cylinder EMD 567. These have generated a lot of excitement, so be sure to check those out at your stores now. Now also with our Steam 2 versions of the Tsunami 2, this is a decoder that we've actually added 28 more whistles to give you a grand total of 90 different whistles to choose from when selecting the decoder choices for your model. This brings our sound combination profiles up to 2.1 billion in one single package. No downloading, no software changes, anything. Just simply put it in, make a couple of selections, and you're ready to roll. And these are in stores now. Now we've been to a lot of shows and I'm still hearing questions about the Ekonami product line being discontinued. Now the Eco 100 and the Eco 200s have been discontinued. However, I do still have and can produce the Eco PNPs and our Eco 21P NEM decoders. Now with the discontinuance of the Eco 200, you can almost make an Eco 200 by using the 21P NEM and our 810-159-21 pin NEM adapter circuit board. So with this, you can simply plug in your 21 pin decoder, piggyback it on, it takes up about the same amount of space as an Eco 200 and you also have this 9 pin wire JST connector you can just simply plug into your DCC ready model or for hardwiring purposes you can purchase the harness and plug it in. Now the other thing about this adapter circuit board is it does have extra solder pads for your extra lighting effects, your speaker terminals, and a convenient place to solder your current keeper in. Now for this month's tech tip we're going to talk about the auto start bit in CV114 for our diesels. Now out of the package the Tsunami 2 is equipped in such a way that the diesel engine will start up automatically upon track power. So as soon as we apply power to the track the locomotive will start up. So we're going to do that now. And you can hear it automatically fire up. Now in CV114 there is, exists what's called the auto start bit and you can disable that so that you have to manually start up your prime mover yourself. So to do that we're going to take the value in CV114 and we're going to subtract 32 and that's going to leave us 114 set to a value of 7. So now when we remove track power and we reapply, the locomotive doesn't start up automatically. This requires me to press the F5, which is RPM plus, to start up the prime mover. So by using this, you can enable your, you and your operators to manually start up the prime mover. This will help in a couple of ways. Number one, when you turn on your layout, all the locomotives don't start up and fire up together. The other is it gives your operators that extra element of inclusion and operation with that they feel like they're actually running the locomotive because they have to manually start it up. Well guys, that about wraps it up for this month. So be sure to check out our information on our YouTube channel. 
Go to our website if you have any questions and feel free to call us if you need any clarifications or help.